Hey Masters, this week we've got some balance changes coming to give some underused cards a helping hand, making some iterations on previous features such as the Mayhem and the Streamer UI. Starting off with the balance changes, we've got a bunch of adjustments to some of our older cards that longtime fans might enjoy, as well as buffs to the latest season's legendary cards. Arcane Bolt will have its kill threshold increased from 400 to 500, while its stun will increase from 7 seconds to 9. Lord Sentinel Felix health will increase from 450 to 500, and his damage will go from 60 to 70. Stixie's Depression Timer will decrease from 10 seconds to 6, making him more consistent against non-swarm targets. Gax the World Bomb will have his damage increased from 150 to 175. Ghost's attack speed will increase by 0.5 seconds. In gameplay terms, this is the speed at which he possesses a target. Battle Shihu's attack speed will be decreased from 2.2 seconds to 2.0. We have the pre and post nerf values listed here for you, so it's easier to compare what kind of impact this will have on the card. And finally, Scrat Launcher's health will be increased from 300 to 400. We're looking forward to seeing you experiment with these new changes, and hoping they make the cards a bit more useful and more of an option to consider when building your deck. We're fiddling around with the Mayhem structure after taking a bit of time to reflect on its current design. The following will be changed about Mayhem. There will no longer be a Deluxe Mayhem option that requires rubies to enter. The regular gold based Mayhem will be 750 gold and have rewards that are roughly a midpoint between the original and Deluxe Mayhem options. Mayhem will happen once a week and last for 3 days. The free try, however, will continue to not have a glory requirement on your deck. These changes are mostly serving as an experiment, so we're wanting to hear your feedback on them as they might not be permanent. We're changing the look of the streamer UI a little after feedback that blocking some of your audience puffs or gameplay elements such as the health bars of flying minions at the top of the screen. The red and blue back panels are now gone, and we've swapped the positions of the health bars and names. We've also put the mana bar on top of your hand. We're hoping these changes are much less obstructive and fit in better with the rest of the gameplay. Thanks for all of the excellent feedback. That's all for today, Masters. Make sure to keep giving us your feedback in all the usual locations such as Discord, Reddit, the Steam forums, and Stomped. Cheers from Betadorf.